Hey, yo, I'm Tiger, and these are my views. I think the actors did a really good job. Uh, Demetrius, he played Tupac, he's, one of, he's a good friend of mine. I think he did a really good job as far as playing the role. Um, I think they just, watching it, and as I watch it over and over, I felt like a lot of things were um, left out. You know, and I, I think people wanted a little more insight on his life and not kind of stuff that we can kind of like, that we kind of already knew. Like, we already knew this was gonna happen. We knew he was gonna go to the Bay, but like, how did the, you know, I, I kind of wanted to see like, how did the Bay influence him? Like, how did him growing up in Baltimore really, like what made him wanna, you know, be an actor first and, like, instead of, you know, be, what made him go from being an actor to, to a rapper? Like, I know he was into poetry, but like, I kind of wanted to see more insight on that, you know? But I feel like when you do a movie like that, it's got to be super hard. You know, it's like doing, you got Tupac, you got Michael Jackson, Prince, like, how do you do a movie on their life and lives in two hours? Like, that has to be a, that has to be a whole series, you know what I'm saying? I think their relationship is deeper than what we all know, we'll, we'll, we'll ever know. You know what I'm saying? And, and especially, uh, I don't think Jay-Z is saying anything that isn't something that people already didn't know. He's kind of like just saying it out loud, you know? Um, but I think when you have success with somebody um, like that together and so much history and so much success together, it's like, okay, once y'all stop, and people are like, oh, well, they're not cool. It's like, it's like relationship with me and Chris. Like, we haven't did a record in like over a year. But I mean, like, I throw parties, he comes to my house. That doesn't mean that we're not cool or that we're not like, you know what I'm saying? We've had a lot of success together, but it's like, once I put out a project with Chris not on it, or if he puts out a project with me not on it, people are like, oh, like, y'all not cool. Or like, why don't you do a project? It's like, we gave y'all two albums. Like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's like, I think, for them, it's like, it's probably so much stuff, it's, it's probably so much unspoken stuff, you know what I mean, that probably, you know, people, they, we just really want them to come together. That's what it's all, all about. It's really not about, you know what I'm saying, his personal life, his personal life. I think people just want the music because it's like, when you give us something like Wash the Throne and you give us a song like Niggas in Paris and then like, that's it, people are like, Where's the, you know what I'm saying? Like, you can't just leave us out here cold, you feel me? And I think that's how people feel. I think Lonzo is going to be a great player, you know what I'm saying? Uh, it's, it, you know, especially hard when you got all them eyeballs on you and people like watching your every move, critiquing your shot, critiquing this, you know, but I mean, he's, you know, a couple years in the league, he might be probably one of the best players in the league, you know, you just, Got to give people time to develop. I, I wish I had a dad like that. I ain't even gonna lie. He go hard. You know what I'm saying? When I seen him on, when I seen him, uh, when I seen that intro on um, WWE, I went crazy. I was like, man, that, that's it's just genius. You know what I'm saying? And and you could tell like they they come from a solid family. You know, like uh, of men and the dad is really like, cause you gotta have somebody that's gonna protect you in this industry and protect you from people that just want so much from you once you get to that level. So it's good that they have that, uh, that, that tight knit family like that. At the moment, I think uh, I like what Kendrick is doing a lot. J305, J305 just came out with a new album that I like. Um, I like Kamaya. I like Bay Area music a lot. You know what I'm saying? I spent a lot of time in the Bay Area, so I, far, I feel like as far as like West Coast music, a lot of the sound stems from the Bay Area, you know? But it's not as many big Bay Area artists that kind of have that spotlight. Um, 
I think I think we just need to keep evolving. You know what I'm saying? Like, cause I think a lot of West Coast music, a lot of people just try to put it in one category. Like, if it's not like early Snoop, early Dr. Dre, if it's not like West Coast gangster, then it's like it can't be West Coast, and that's not true. Cause you got so many different type of artists. Uh, from LA to the Bay, you know, California period, that just is on a whole new wave, you know? <laughs>